Hi, my name's Kaylee from Kaylee's Cards and I'm back with you for another Making the Most of series. This week I'm making the most of going back to school. So we've got projects based all around going back um, to school and this one is you really adorable I think and you don't actually need that many project um, any uh, products. So it is a pencil card. It can be stood up like this or on the side and you can um, write like initials on here to make it a personalised pencil and it is really simple and this could be a first day back to school, this could be um, a card for a teacher or it could even be a card for people who really like pencils, I mean people out there exist. So all I've done is taking a piece of yellow card and I'm using so saffron and I need, I've cut it um, six inches by an A4 with a um, piece of cardstock. So all I'm going to do is start off and start, score sorry, at three inches and then I'm going to take a piece of pink card and I'm going to score this at one and a half by three. So I'm just going to cut it at three and then cut down to one and a half. And I'm going to take some grey card and I'm going to score this again at three and cut down to one and three quarters. And then I'm going to take some brown card, again three inches. And this needs to roughly be about two and a quarter. Um, that's roughly. It doesn't need to be perfect because of the way we're going to layer it. And I've got some black card and I'm not going to do anything with that for the time being. I'm just going to leave that. It's just a scrap. I'm just going to leave that to the side. So that's all we need with our trimmer. So we just need to fold this card in half or along our score line and use the bone folder to get a nice crease. And we're going to start off by um, rounding the corners of um, the cardstock. I didn't do this side very well, so I'm just going to do it again. And then we're going to take the pink cardstock and just round the edges of that too. And then you get that sort of um, rubber side. And then we need to take the grey card and stick that down. So you want to make sure that where you stick it, um, it's going to go, you know, it's got enough room so the, the pink overlaps the grey. In fact, forgive me one second, I've just forgotten an important step. We do need the trimmer again. Or you need a ruler and a pencil. And we're just going to take a matching yellow marker pen and line this up at half an inch. And we're just going to run down. And then at one inch, I'm going to quickly turn it around. And you don't want to be pressing really hard you do want this to be quite faint so every half inch and this is just going to give it a very slight um line mark and that's just going to give it that impression of it being a curved pencil like the pencils we have in the uk and then what you want to do is stick down the gray card And I'm going to go about an inch off the bottom. And then take my pink card. And stick this down. There we go, I can't seem to stick straight for some reason. And then what we want to do with the base of this brown card is just make random triangles because this is going to be this is what would be the wood part of the pencil and you do always kind of get those rough edges so it doesn't need to be neat at all and as such you can be really neat at this and you can have them if you want all the same kind of widths and heights but I think it looks more natural when it's all kind of um, 
all over the place. And what we need to do is take back, we do need our trimmer again, and we're going to make a notch, and put this through and make a notch at one and a half inches. And we just need to do that on both sides. You can see this. Just line it up and just make a little notch, notch on the edge. And then, um, a notch this way as well, right in the middle. And we just want, do you know what, I think I've, I've notched at the wrong point, so it needs to be two. So you notch both sides at two inches, not one and a half, and you notch one and a half in the middle. And then you line up your notch on the side and notch on the middle and you just cut away. You may need to run that through twice so it pulls, goes through both layers. And you just do the same thing on the other side and you've just created your nib point. Didn't obviously cut through that very well. So once you've done that, you take your crisscrossy brown section and you're just going to want to stick this down wherever you think is most appropriate. I'm going to go with about there. And what you want to do is find where you're going to stick it down and stick directly onto the cardstock because we're going to cut away once it's stuck down. And once we've stuck this section down, we're just going to take our black cardstock again and work out roughly where we want that to be. We want it about there. And just apply a little extra glue right on the bottom and stick that down. And this may not look right now, but what we're going to do is take it from the back and cut up. You're not very good at cutting you can just use the trimmer again so I've suddenly forgotten how to cut and then right at the top you're just going to want to cut flat so that it's kind of a nibbed pencil and that's all there is to the basics of the card, but what I like to do is to take a yellow gel pen and wear it up a little bit. So along the grey, I'm just going to like, draw lines just across to give it that metally effect. And this may look a bit funny now, but what you're going to do is you're going to quickly take your finger and rub so that that ink is smudged. And at the top, you're going to really ink this bit up, the nib, and rub it off and ink it up. And you want to keep on layering this because this makes it look more like a used pencil end. And I just done it down the bottom a bit. And then right at the tip again. And where else I do it is I'd run a few bits down the wood but again quickly run it down and then it's not really that noticeable and on the edges of the rubber I'd colour in white all along the edge because that's when pencils and rubbers have been used they kind of look a little bit warm and that is it so that is how to make a really quick pencil card. You don't need much tools at all. You could do the whole thing with a pair of scissors, but it is so much easier with the stamping up trimmer. And the um, white gel pen at the end just gives it a finishing touches. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's card. I'd love to see your pencil cards or even go for a pen.